While the coastline still remains in disarray after Hurricane Sandy, military officials have mobilized personnel and equipment to try to restore residents to their homes, which is not an easy task. The, the basements are full of water, uh, anywhere from ankle to chest deep. To have a better understanding of what many residents are facing, I took a closer look. Ugh. Sewage water has filled the basement here in this residential area in Queens. Marines pumping water out say it'll take hours before repairs can be made. What our pump guys are doing are, are removing the water so that they can repair the pipes and they can repair the electricity. And, but you can't do either of those until the water's gone. Uh, these people are in chaos right now. Uh, everything's underwater and uh, we're here doing what we need to do. And they just got a big relief out of it, knowing that here in a few weeks they can be in their homes, have electricity, no water to deal with. These Marines just arrived on scene this morning, and most were surprised by what they saw. Back home, I really thought everybody was overreacting, but as soon as I hit New York, uh, it kind of set in. It's, it's pretty bad up here. And he's not the only one. Locals feel the same way. Uh, surreal, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, second, second uh, worst disaster after the towers it was, was on the money when they said that. We were definitely not prepared, but we'll get by. We're a tough city. <laughs> Reporting for the Air Force Broadcasting Service, I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry.